that's a picture of uh, the place where I work. Um, the building that I work in is a school. And uh, this here is a green field. But last year, because of global warming, we had um, global a warming? lot of, yes, because we had a lot of rain, a huge amount of rain, and suddenly the water rose and everything was flowing. So we keep the picture. Yeah, we like it, because it, 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 it was so it, it was a school. And uh, the reason I keep the picture is because we had no school for ah, a yeah. week after that. So when I look at that, I think of holidays. <laughs> so um, the first thing I want to say is, and I, I'm conscious that I'm talking to Japanese people and an Irish person coming to Japan to talk about uh, technology is a bit like coming to the Eskimos to talk about snow. Um, so you are far better at technology than I am. But just in case, I want to mention this. Um, if, if you buy a CD, any CD, you take this one for instance, and you hear the CD... that any beginner musician should have for any type of music, be it classical music or rock music or pop music, amazing slow down, slow down or is a, a wonderful tool. So if you take that piece of music again, some tunes um, and to pick easy tunes that most people can play and then maybe we could learn some tunes and learn some technique. Right? So um, what's your name? Please. Megu. 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 Yeah. Do you want to start a tune? Megu. <laughs> Any tune? Yeah. Alright, so the tunes here, I've learned some of them after a while. But that was a nice 
start off to. I'm going to now, Megu and uh, uh, your name. Um, Nakamura. Huh? Uh, Nakamura. Nakamura. First name. First name. Akihiro. 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 Yeah, Meg, yes, Mego, Mego, or Meg, right, Meg and Aki. Aki Hibo. Aki Hibo. Right, Aki Hibo, right, go on. Will you start my student, Aki? Aki Hibo. Aki Hibo. Yeah, two. 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 Yeah, you don't? Me, me right. Me. Okay, well, we'll be learning some, so we'll be okay. Right. Now, what's your name again? Asuka. 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 Right, so, Megu Akihimo. <laughs> Asuka. <laughs> Asuka. <laughs> Go on, Asuka. Okay, yeah, nice chin.
Some of you may know this tune. Some of you may know this tune, but we just use it to learn how to do little bits of ornamentation, little rolls and stuff. So the first thing is, I play this tune for you, and if you like, you could record it. Can some of you record it on your phones, or have you got a machine to record it with? Yeah, and I play. I'll just try it first because don't record yet because I may not I'm, I'm, I may not play it properly. So just don't record yet, I'll just try it first.
it? Do you want to record it now then? Have a look. So here goes. Good. 
dig a dig back down into the field. You want to go dig a dig. 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 Right, so into the flute score. Beginning of that tune, we can go. exercises all the time. You can do them while you watch TV. I sit at home sometimes and I go... sound right, it'll sound very uncoordinated, 
if you're doing it badly, it'll sound something like this. You know, it affects the rhythm. It affects everything. So if you do the exercises, and keep going forever and ever and ever. Get really accurate. It's fabulous. You know? And then you take the same exercise and you do it for the dugada 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 that we mentioned earlier on. And you can go. Very good, very quickly. But you need to do this. 
settings. Fair enough. So we'll move on then. We'll have a look at the numerical code then. Or maybe the numerical. won't be able to do G sharp, but just for the ones who are interested in how to do G sharp, see in the second part of the new market polka here, because this is in the key of A, so we have to do G sharp, and in the second part therefore it goes, now you have a key, uh, hurry, or you, have, you have a key, haven't you, E, so, very good. Um, you have a key as well, don't you? Yes, for the G sharp, yeah? Superb. And you have a key on that Bowen system flute, don't you? Yes. And no, that's okay. Yeah. But for those who don't have a key, you have to half cover this hole. You'll be going E, F, like this. market polka anyway. Would you like that? Right, look, let's, let's do the new market pol pol polka very quickly and we'll have a look at the cash G then. Some of you already know the cash G, I'm aware of that. So anyway, do you want to record this? Yep. Okay, you already saw. <coughs>
Semitones for it's the same for chromatics, you know, for all the notes. Really. Very difficult isn't it, to do E flat, but it's easy for me because I have a key. Yeah. Right, that's our 
all cats. Now, um, for jigs, then we're going on to the cash jig. Jigs are around 120 as well. Would you believe it? So let's do them. Now, this only is only is only relevant for some of you because some of you don't pay for dancers, but for those who would like to pay for dancers, you'd need to know roughly what the beats per minute would be. Okay? So our slides. The Brosna slide somebody played yesterday with me.
compared to the other 80 or 160 feet from me. That's a 160 there. <laughs> Some of you know it, I'd say one or two or three maybe know the case sheet, but we'll learn it because we might use it as a skeleton to hang some flesh on, to put some ornamentation or some other it's a technique on it, right? So the case sheet goes. You can take a breath in between notes and you're okay. But in a jig, the jig doesn't sound right if you take a breath and don't leave out anything. So a jig played like this. Doesn't sound right at all. So we have to leave out a note when we're playing a tune. When we're playing jigs, when you're taking a breath, you actually have to leave out some note. So. Really, here it's, I, I didn't use that spirit at all. Um, when you're playing jigs, they're in threes, right? They'd be going one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. So the cash jig goes one, two, three, 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 one, two, one is important, and three is important, but two is not very important. So if you leave out note two, it'll be okay. Not all the note twos, but some of them. If it, when you need to take a breath, leave out note two, it'll be okay. So it'll be one, two, three, 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 one, two, one, three, one, two, three, one, do you know what I mean? Okay, so when we're playing the catch jig, whenever we take a breath, we are leaving out no two of the three. And that's it for jigs. And it makes jigs very easy to play. And you'll never again have problem problems with breathing if you're able to think one, two, three, one, two, three, one, three, one, two, three, one, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, three, one, two, three. Just leave out no two. And jigs are simple after that. Okay? So let's have a look at the catch jig and play through.
also did so with breathing in genes. five minutes more in the current configuration yes and yes. then um, we and then will switch to other people need leave but they can no. just maybe sit and sit okay or we could take a short break, you know, five minutes. Do you want a break? Yeah, well, we could, yeah, and I could set up maybe a couple of other little bits and pieces during the break. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. let's say we finish at 25 to, and we start the advance at a quarter to, okay. and we finish at a quarter to, you know, an hour later. How is that? So, when we keep going with the Genshin, so.
jink, and then we might take a break, okay? So, three, four.